Okay, so shoebox two and three. There's two. There's three. You got some good views. And then shoebox number four. He hasn't done anything yet. <laughs> Come on, phone. Look at that beautiful mycelium. And then stump tech. <laughs> is uh just picked one but got more to go uh shoe box number seven is gone so i'm in the cleaning processes and shoe box two three uh sorry two three and four or two three and stump tech are all going into the big container right here so hell yeah and you guys won't get to see that because I've already taken it out, thrown it away, sprayed alcohol on this. Because if you look, there's little pieces of dirt and stuff that gets stuck on this. And if there's any contamination, that could be contamination. And then you're spreading contamination within your uh, mycology area. So, and then I also... Um, spray the inside of this with 70% isopropyl alcohol, Blech. and uh, yeah, but the shoebox number seven that I just threw away got put on, got put in on 6-8, so he's been a little over three months, so hell yeah. So we're about to move all these uh, fruiting chambers, and I actually have quite a few of them. So, you guys are about to see what I do. Like, I haven't even had a cup of coffee yet this morning. That's actually what I'm doing at the moment. Coffee, coffee, coffee. So, a lot of times I try to do this stuff early in the morning, like right after I get up. And the reason for that is... Um, it's not too hot. Uh, the furnace ain't going or the AC ain't going, so therefore I don't have uh, air circulating. So it's a little bit easier for me to do my college stuff without ACs and stuff being turned on. Or I have to turn them off and hurry up and do something. Because if I don't, then the trailer gets too hot. You know, a little dumb crap like that. So I will let you guys see shoebox number three. <laughs> or sorry stump tech round three for stump tech round two for shoebox number two shoebox number three is going on round three shoebox four and then i even have a shoebox in here at the moment so pulled the cake out uh number seven shoebox number seven cake came out today Pulled him out, uh, cleaned it out, and then what I do is I spray alcohol, and then I close it up, and then I let it sit for five or six minutes. You guys will see what I do next. So then I open it next. I wipe it out. this I do it again but not with uh, isopropyl alcohol I spray it again with uh, distilled water to bring the humidity up so the reason why I do this is because I start them off so this one is all by itself. He just got put in on the 19th. The reason I do that is I want them to get past the first flush. Once they get past the first flush and there's really no contamination, he's pretty much good. Um, uh, some of the contamination has came right after the first flush, right as they're starting to pin for the second flush. So once they do that, then they get moved into another container because I can trust them. Um, so we have three 
uh, shoe boxes that need to go into there. And that leaves me with just this one. So I got uh, two more open shoe boxes, which means more stuff to go in. So um, really enjoyed the live feed. Was not really wanting to do a two hour vid, but move wood. You always lay there, bud. Um, but it, I had a good time. Um, I still think I'm going to make that list so as I talk, I can mark it off as well as I talk so I don't keep talking about the same crap. But anyways, next thing you'll see is me putting cakes in. Hold on. Whole bunch of humidity. We're just going to move two today. box for the next sorry that opens up a tub for the next shoe box that's coming out so for right now peeps i was gonna do a third one decide not to i just need one of them let them sit for a few days before i do some other stuff so this is what it looks like now so there's two of them in there plus that one and then that one which is going to be another monster i did pick one so far i love that that one right there, there was the one that veiled. So, anyways, I hope you all have a great day. Please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. It does help me out. There is merch. Please go check that out at jaysmycology.myshopify.com. Go check that out. You might find something you like. Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Jay's Mycology. Today is... Sunday, the 24th, September. So that guy's on its second flush. That guy's on his second flush. That guy just, he should be popping, pinning real soon. Ain't got nothing on there. This guy just went in a couple days ago. And then this guy is on, Stump Tech is on round three. You guys can tell that guy's pretty big. So, hell yeah. I'm getting monsters. Monsters. This one's going to be a monster, too. Not a, quite as big, but it's going to be a good size. So, hell yeah. Thank you all for staying tuned. Till tomorrow. So, Monday the 25th. We picked the mon monsters last night. So, we got those couple in there. And then we got these couple in there. What the hell is going on my phone? But look at them babies. They've all pinned. So got to get in there and pick number shoebox number three. It's on flush number two. So hell yeah. So shoebox number three. Ooh. And a couple of number two were done. But you guys can see it is all good to go. All veiled. Beautiful. So, yep, yep. There go. They veiled. And then these ones veiled. Stump tack. 
What's that? Fourth, third flush. Shoe box two, three, and the Stump Tech shoe box are, are all getting rehydrated. Uh, they've gone through two, two flush, two flush, three flush. So they're time to be hydrated. Um, doing pretty good. They gave me quite a bit yesterday on the last flush. So there you guys go. You guys can see the. It's all drying out. So got some big ones in here too. Like look at that. But this is more like the average size of a mushroom. So big difference between that and that. So and all these ones right here are all that big. So hell yeah. I have been getting tons of questions about what temperatures i run and all this okay if you look underneath here you can see that little pilot light that is the only thing i'm using that's it uh these ones have been in here for two days but they are dry so they will be coming out today actually here once i'm done with this video so the if you have a full rack Sometimes it'll take two to three days to dry everything out because you got a little pilot light, that's all. Um, um, I dry them out a little slower. Um, it seems to hold the potency a little bit better. Uh, some people try to dry them out in six hours. Okay, whatever. Uh, I've had no issues. Everything's going pretty damn good at the moment. Uh, Boys are good, as you can see. The other knuckleheads right laying on the floor next to my chair. But, uh, yeah. Just thought I'd give it a little bit of an update. Don't have anything fruiting right now. So after I rehydrate them, I do it for 12 hours. Then I drain them. Then I leave them in the tubs till tonight. Um. Uh, and then they all three of these guys will go on racks. Uh, if you if you take them straight out of uh, rehydration and try to stick them onto a rack, you have a greater chance of them breaking or falling apart because it's all wet and it'll just separate real easy. So I at least give them like a 24 hour period to where they uh, can kind of dry back up. And it brings them a tad bit more solid so that when you switch them on directs, they just don't fall apart. Uh, I've had that happen and it really does suck. So uh, try not to do that. Um, you can even wait a couple days before you put it on a rack. Um, sometimes I've waited two days. So, so I've gone ahead uh, about uh, four or five hours ahead of schedule. Uh, shoebox number Sorry, my eyes are adjusting. Shoebox number four does have a pin. You can see it right there. So we got some pins there. This is what they look like. Shoebox two, three, and stump tech. They're all on racks, so we should be having some good uh, growth here real soon. Uh, I did pull the stump tech out of the jars. Uh, I was only popping ones and twos, and I want more. So I pulled them out and let's see what, what we get this way. Uh, shoebox number, I don't know, five. No, that's shoebox. Yeah, shoebox number five. He went in on the 24th. He's going to be hard to see. He's super moist in there. Anyways, good mycelium growth. He'll look like this in a few days. Anyways, just thought I'd let you all see. Anyways, so yeah, that's the end of hydration. I uh, got a couple days, got pins on one of the shoe boxes, but yeah. Anyways, y'all, I hope you all do have a great day. Enjoy. Uh, please do not forget to hit that like and subscribe and uh, share if you want to. Uh, anyways, hope you all have fun. Me and the boys are just having a good old day. Hope you all have the same. Bye.